Okay, I think I'm live, but I don't know what's going to happen. There may be some quality issues, there may be some pixelation. I may not have a good connection, but I'm going to go ahead and do this page as if I were doing a regular recorded video. I'm going to wait for a bit to see if anybody shows up. If you show up, say hello to me. I think I can see people coming in. Say hello so I know who you are. I had a little trouble setting up my camera, but I think it's right now. I'm kind of fooling with it, trying to get it set up. Hello to everybody who's coming in. So, if you're in here, say hello to me so I know, let me know if my setup is looking good to you. I'm going to go ahead and start working in on my page. Hi, Laura. Oh, thank you. I had some problems going live trying to figure this out, but I cleared my YouTube cache on my app, my phone app. So, and that seemed to resolve the problem. So, maybe I'll start doing that before I go live. <laughs> So, hello to everyone who comes in. Say hello so that I can, can chat with you and know who's watching. I am working on Friday nights in this book, this Childcraft Encyclopedia. I'm doing reverse collage. Hi, Tula. Ta Tulu I don't know if I'm pronouncing your, your ID right. It looks like Tulula. Tulula. But <laughs> anyway, this was the first page that we did, and I am thinking that I want to paint this title out and redo it and maybe put another picture down here. To me, this page is not quite right. And I just want to say I am using my phone data unlimited. So I'm hitting the cell phone towers on a Friday night. So we may experience some problems with that. I may pixelate in, pixelate out. Uh, I know last week it knocked me off the service and, and I was able to come back. But, <laughs> but I had a laugh. I was in uh, Lindsay's, the Frugal Crafters live chat today. And she had some problems with that. And I'm going, whoa. If Lindsay has problems, I don't feel so bad. This was the next one that we did. I was a lot happier with this one. Wishful thinking. This was a doll in the window and a little girl. Maybe I'll zoom in just a little bit more. Hello to everybody who's coming in. Say hello. Let me who I, know who I'm talking to. And then last week we worked on this one. So, each week it seems to get a little better, but I have had to finish these offline. Hi, Kathy. Lucia, hi. Oh, yay. <laughs> I, I can't tell you guys how, how nice it is to see you come in. So, this week, what I thought I would work on would be this page. Well, not that page this page and this is a summer page for sure because it's all about a baseball game there goes the ball back 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 over the fence for a home run little league or big league a baseball game means excitement and fun to the players and the fans who watch the artist who made this construction and they're talking about this piece over on the right hand side captured the fun of the game by making it a game that you can play with 
If you get tired of looking at it, you just lay it flat and spin the bats. The ball bounces and shows you in your play. It's just like baseball. That kind of reminds me of the spinners that are out on the market so popular this summer. <laughs> so I thought that I would bring these blues light blues and greens off into the margin again but what I'm going to do is I want to keep I want to draw a circle around the text because I'm going to paint bring the the blues and the grays out here but I want to keep this text kind of in a circle like a baseball it doesn't have to be a perfect circle but sort of like a baseball that's being hit across the field. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to jump right into this. If you have any questions, I am seeing the chat. So if you want to say anything, say it because uh, I will, if I don't see it right away, I'll probably see it later and I will answer. What I want to do is there's just a little bit of green here. I want to bring some green there. And I think you can see here too. Look that artist who did this. Even did the shadows. Look, can you see the shadows? He did that pretty good on there. So I want to bring some light blue out here. But I also want to make pinstripes. Like the baseball uniforms have like pinstripes on them. And so I kind of want to do that, too. And I'm just going to start fidget spinners. What a crazy fad. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. Good to see you. Yeah, I haven't tried one of those fidget spinners. Have any of you tried those? I looked at them. <laughs> I said, oh, fun. So I'm just going to start splattering some paint on here. Um, I just want a little blue. Because I want to make this gray with blue pinstripes over here. And I want to bring some green down here. Like the green playing field. The green grass. And I will say, what's the deal here? Maybe I just need to shake it really good. There. Hi, Janet. Good to see you. You bought a few for Cameron. Does he like playing with them, Lucia? Lucia, have you played with them? I've never tried them. I'd probably spin it off into goodness knows where. <laughs> and I'm just going to get messy. I want to bring this green off. This green right here, there's just a little square, but I'm just going to make it the green field, like a baseball field. And kind of make it go white over here. That may be too much. I don't know if putting wax paper on this is such a good idea for me while I'm going live. Let's see. And then I just want to, I want some gray. Gray, gray, gray. I got gray out. I don't want a whole lot of gray. But I want enough. Can I ask how, how does, because it's getting close to 8 o'clock here and it's still light outside, but it's starting to be a little bit darker and I'm wanting to know if you, if my I don't have the lights on in my room here is it looking okay for you guys <laughs> and I am just going to keep smearing paint I want some blue up here in the sky
Lighting is fine. It looks fine, fine here. Good. Thank you. That's good to know. If it starts to get dark, because when the sun goes down, I may have to turn on some lights. <laughs> and now, I don't want to touch the picture. I'm happy with what the artist did over here. In fact, I may have too much paint. I'm just going to take some off the page and kind of smear it on my desktop. Too much blue there. I think I'll bring it down here a little, bring the green up a little. I will say it's really fun to get messy like this. Not using a paintbrush, but using your fingers. Oh! And I knocked one color over. I don't know what color it was. <laughs> it's on the floor under my desk and I'm not going to crawl under it. <laughs> I'd probably knock everything down. I'll do that later. I do a lot of stupid things when I'm live. Hi, Karen! Good to see you. Hi, Kathy. Um, Jana, and I'm working in that Child Craft Encyclopedia again. The same one that we worked on in the other, in the other weeks. I want to complete as many pages here as I can and I've just been working Friday nights on it. So I'm doing the same type of thing that I did the other weeks. Boy, you know, and this paint is already getting dry and thick. I do have my sprayer, but I don't want it to... my spritzer? There, that's a little better. I'm going to put a little bit more white on here. This is not white white, this is parchment white. I want it to be kind of a gray, white, blue color over here to kind of match their uniforms. But I want it to keep this text white. I've already got a blue in there. Because this is going to be the baseball here. And yeah, I'm finger painting. <laughs> you know, this is fun. I didn't do this until I started watching Dee Dee Willingham do her finger painting. Oh, I probably did it when I was a kid. I think, if I remember right, my mom told me that she caught me when I was a toddler smearing butter all over the refrigerator. <laughs> so I started early. Dee Dee is amazing. She just totally, I mean, she inspires me so much. She's doing that summer project, um, sketch, summer sketchbook, and what, oh, she started drawing on a big roll of paper, drawing big, painting big across her desktop. Now, I've started smearing paint on my desktop, and I have a big roll of craft paper, but I haven't started yet doing the the smearing like she is I mean the drawing big yeah she just totally totally is inspiring I'm getting some more green out here I'm going to put it on my desktop some of this paint is is getting old for me Green is not a color I use a lot in my palette, but I want greener grass. And now my page is starting to, since I sprayed that water on it, that paint's really thick. I'm going to see if I can't lift a little of it up. Yeah. Aw, oh, thank you, Lucia. I wish I had more time to art, too. But, you know, I do have more time now than I used to. I try to do a little, t a little art every day. 
And, but you know, even I get my periods where I just don't want to do any art every day. And when that happens, I try to do something like organize something or, or watch YouTube videos. And Oh, do you like that texture? Um, I should do more, huh? I was, try I was trying to get more off so I could put more dark green on there. Because that looks more like a baseball field. Now, uh, let's see. Was it my green that I knocked over? No, here it is. <laughs> it's funny when I'm live. I do the stupidest things when I'm live. Like put my book in the paint or... Knock paint on the floor. Who knows what I'll do next. And I've noticed when I'm live that my voice is louder when I'm listening to the videos. After it goes live, after it processes, I do listen to it again to see if I missed something that, that I needed to take care of. <laughs> um, I do notice that my voice is louder, and I think it's because... Well, there's a natural, even for me, there's kind of like a natural excitement seeing people come in. <laughs> like, oh, I'm seeing all my friends on a Friday evening. I do like that. Now, I kind of wanted to do some pinstripes in here. I'm going to, heat gun alert. I'm going to do a heat gun here because I want it to dry a little. So this is the baseball field. I should really put some bases on there. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. As soon as I get the pinstripes on. There's no floor space in my art room. Oh, Laura, boy, do I <laughs> do I know what you what you mean? And I am really I'm not in my own space. I'm in my at my brother's house. So I have to be careful because he's got carpeting on this this room he's let me have this it's kind of like a den he's let me almost take over this room which I have very much appreciated but that doesn't mean that you can spatter paint on his rug <laughs> so I try to be careful in fact I'm a little bit worried I knock that paint off I guess it's okay I checked behind my desk <laughs> I think I knocked the tube of white paint off There's a gap, there's a window. I'm in front of a window that faces east. It's really a big, huge picture window. I love to sit here and in the morning and on the mornings that, just make sure the cap is closed. Yeah, the cap's closed. I had to look again. <laughs> it's one of these little tubes of paint that I knocked over. But there's a gap between, I'm working on a small, just a little small desk. And there's a gap between it and the wall where the window is. This is getting pretty dry. Okay, what I want to do is put some, and I, I even prepared for it, if I can get it out now. It's, of course, it's being stubborn for me and falling underneath of my mat. Come on. I want to just put some, you know, and I should do that with my fine line paint applicator, shouldn't I? Okay, I was going to show you guys, I have this Apple Barrel Cobalt Blue Hue. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. My granddaughter sleeps in my art room and they actually complain about the mess. <laughs> they did or didn't complain about the mess. I'm going to move this book for just a minute because if I don't I'll have cobalt blue paint all over my page knowing Mary they complained about the mess last, last time <laughs> okay I set my book aside I was going to show you guys I got a new fine line paint applicator 
This is a brand new one. I don't have a lot of them. I think this is maybe my sixth one that I have in my whole collection. Look at my hands are already full of paint. But this is just Apple Barrel Cobalt Blue paint. And I think... I'm reaching for a paper towel here. As much as I don't care that it goes on my table, I'm going to try to prevent it from not. And I'm just going to sit here and fill this. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. This is how I fill my... Except I have a little bit more steady hand when I'm not live. But this is how I fill my paint applicators. And I actually like these 8 ounce bottles of paint. I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm watching the paint go in the bottle. <laughs> because a 2 ounce, this is like an ounce and a half. And by the time you, these little tubes are 2 ounces. And so just about one and maybe you just have a little bit left in there. After you fill, if you break open the new one. So I like these 8 ounce bottles of paint for this reason. Oops, see it's full. And then I just kind of shake it down a little. I actually didn't make that much of a mess. That surprises me. Do I add water? No, I don't. I don't. I quit doing that because well, I, when you want it thin, when you want a thin line and a watery line, then you can add water or airbrush medium. I used to put airbrush medium in it, but I quit doing that because I love how this craft paint uh, is thick when it dries and it gives me a really thick line. I do whenever I open it. Now this is brand new, so it, this this nozzle should be clean. But when I open it, let me put that back in there, if I can. I might have to bring it up to my face to do this. I am trying to put that little pin back in the nozzle, and it's not going to do it while I'm doing it. I have such fun with these fine line paint applicators. They, they are just fun. I, I learned about them first from uh, Gina Aaron's. Just like you guys, she I was watching her use one in her video, and I said, what is that little bottle with the nozzle? I want one of them. And that, what, that had to be, oh, that had to be three or four years ago, at least three years ago. And she said she got them. Well, I don't feel like the queen, but I do feel like I have learned a lot about them. And it's amazing. It's amazing what you can learn about these, and, and I watch other people do them. I used to watch, um, and I don't think I've seen her videos for a long time, uh, Claudia Rossi at Crazy Island Family. She put, uh, oh, that liquid acrylic, what is it called? I can't, I don't know, you know, it's, it's I want to call it liquid acrylic. <laughs> um, oh, it escapes me now. But... She let it drizzle down her page with her fine line. She used her fine line applicator to apply it, and then she let it drizzle. Yeah, the flow of it. It was just, it was so fun to watch her use it. Okay, I've got, so that's all I do. To, I'm going to put this in the waste basket before I smear the rug with it. And I want to bring my book back. Because what I want to do, what I want to do is put some pinstripes on this page. I love what you write cursive with these bottles. Yes. Yes, it is so fun. And I want to do that. But I also want to do some really thin pinstripes. And if you look at his collar here, maybe I can bring it up. I could zoom in, but I'm just going to bring it up. If you look at this collar on that top baseball player look how the pinstripes go around curve around his neck and his shoulders well that's what I want to do around the baseball like this 
and maybe even around them but while I'm live <laughs> expect anything to happen here so I'm going to actually start I think right here and go like now just I am I'm bringing this off of I'm getting inspired by watching autocorrect I'm getting inspired by his pinstripes there so I'm just gonna go over a little bit more and do another one and it will probably run off the page visually and come back this way now I do know that if you have paint on your page and if you're drawing with your nozzle your fine line nozzle and if you drag it in that paint you can plug up this nozzle and you might have to take your cap and kind of clean that out. I'm going to try to avoid that by keeping my nozzle, if I can, above the page. We'll see how I do with that. But I know for a minute there I was dragging it along the page and I'm going, uh-oh, I'm going to plug it up before I'm done. And I'm just going to put a little one there. See if I can steady my hand enough to do one around here without doing too much of a and if it's a squiggly circle well it's a squiggly circle he's got a rough pinstripe there and I do know too one of the things that I've observed while I'm writing is and I I kind of observed this while I was doing those shades of gray ATCs while I was writing when I try to write slow and make it look nice, my hand gets all shaky and I get nervous. And if I make a mistake, oh, and I, to heck with it. I'm just going to write and splatter it on there. And actually, I think it turned out better and looser and freer when I just didn't worry about it so much. And you can see here where I started worrying about it. Here, I wasn't worried about it there. So I'm just going to try to not worry, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And just kind of, if I can, go at it. Really, my page is still kind of wet over on this side. It's really kind of interesting because when you do this you get a sense of the shapes here like oh I have to do a curve there <laughs> okay I think I'm happy with that now I wanted to make this look more like a baseball if you give me a minute I'm going to get my black fine line paint applicator Now, the black paint that I have in here is really juicy. I bought a bottle like this, only in black, and it was watery. And it's... Thank you, Laura, or Karen. I love fine liners. I need to start using mine. Yes, Kathy, even if you get out, like, some scratch paper, throw it on your desktop, and just start scribbling with it doodle with it and even like an old newspaper just start doing free stuff that you don't care about maybe try to trace some pictures on the newspaper or even trace the shape of the text like this text I made a circle but like if you had a column of text and you know how text sometimes forms its own shape on a page just take your fine line applicator and start following the shape what I want to do I think now see how juicy that was that already that already this is really this black paint is really juicy and what I wanted to do was do a baseball I'm kind of happy with that only I want to put some stitches in there 
There. And I'm not going to worry about that black dot. I'll let him dry and then I'll go over and paint over him again. Now I think I need a home base here in white and maybe some lines like a diamond. So I knocked my white paint over. So I'm going to use my white fine line paint applicator. I have that right here. And I just want to put like a home plate here maybe. This is getting empty too. But maybe not. Because you know what it's it's time to let me just this is the picture that I chose. And this is just a bunch of kids. I fussy cut this out of another page in the Childcraft Encyclopedia. This is probably in one of the other ones. I have about four volumes of them. And it looks like kids huddled like in a team. Now I don't think I don't think they huddle like this when they're playing baseball. They might, but it looks more like, well, they got knapsacks on, so I don't know what they're huddling about. <laughs> I see the huddles when they're playing uh, football or maybe even basketball, but it doesn't look like they're playing a game, but I just thought it looked good on this page. So I'm going to dry this real quick. So heat gun alert. <laughs> I'm really kind of happy with how this is turning out. You know what I think I'll do too after I get my page glued on here? I like that baseball. I like the stitching. I might do that same type of stitching around the border of the page. And I want to write on here someplace, play ball. And if any of you who saw my um, fairy page my, uh, that we did last week, the one with Julia Monet, I can't think of a good title. The closest I could come to it was, um, I like the word seeing with your imagination or look with your imagination. Because I, once saw, I was going to put Julia and her cat, but that doesn't take care of the other little girl that I that was in a photo that I glued down there and I have those fairies on there and I was going I kind of like look with your imagination but I want it to be like two words and look with your imagination is what three words <laughs> so if you think of something creative around those lines comment or send me a message or post or something yeah Janet yeah, I would appreciate it. The, somebody suggested, was that you, Janet? Somebody suggested the wishful thinking one. And I love that on that page that we did with the little girl looking in the window at her doll. That was perfect. Because it's short and it's, it says exactly what the page is about. Now these are going to, when I glue this down, will probably blur a little. Because just like... Everything else is paint. See with your heart. I like that, Lottie. Can we shorten it somehow? I like that. Can we shorten see with your heart to two words? I just want a couple words, but I like see with your heart. That's a challenge. <laughs> I don't have a prize. I suppose I could work up an ATC, one of my Shades of Grey ATCs. Shall we do that for anybody watching this video? Anybody who watches this video, who comes up with a really good title, shorten see with your heart or look with your imagination. I want two words like wishful thinking, play ball. And the one that I like the best, if you post, and if you're watching this, even on the replay, I'll give it like about five days. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Nancy. I read the hi, Mary. Hi, Nancy. It's good to see you. Is a rule about words, I don't very often use words. You know, no, Laura, I don't think there is a rule. Um, 
it kind of what you want to journal on your page sometimes like you really don't need journaling on your pages it kind of just depends on where you want your page to go that's my opinion <laughs> if that counts for anything I'll probably smear this a little when I put this down but I'll try to be careful I am still using Laura close your eyes <laughs> I think it was Laura who said, you just talked me into using Elmer's glue. <laughs> and I do like Elmer's glue for the heavier things, but I have to say my friends are, are convincing me to use a glue stick, and I've been using this Scotch. It's wrinkle-free. I get two of them to a package, and I got these at Walmart in where they sell their office supplies I think it wasn't with their art stuff it was right where they sell all their other glues glue sticks they had a couple of other glue sticks but I do like this so far now I'm just going to smear some on there for now and then off camera when I'm wanting to be more careful I'll go in and and glue everything down nice but I just want to put it on the page, maybe right about in here. Maybe I'll let a little... No, I want more of the baseball to show. I think I'll put it right in here. Right there. There it goes. That's where it's going to be. Right in there. So I still want to put a home plate. I think I'll put home plate right in here. I don't want to put it under his head. Maybe over in here. And then draw some lines. Like they'll, they'll be on what? Between first and, and, <laughs> and home plate. But I want a home plate in here. Right about in here. And the plates, I think, are more like this. They're not really a diamond. They're kind of a funny shape. And here again, I'm trying not to scrape my nozzle against the paint on the page because I don't want it to fill up my nozzle. So, And then I just want to put some, some lines on it, maybe. And maybe that way. Whoops. Let me get... I put these bulldog clips here because when I first opened the book, it was... It was closing up on me again. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to put those nozzles back on. I think I'm going to... I want to I want to put play ball on here maybe in red this page needs some red hi Lynn that's a good glue oh thank you Janet fairy life I like sorry about that I have a bad connection. I have to reverse this now. I went offline. Are you still here? I've got a really bad connection. It's Friday night. It's trying to use my data. I don't know who's here and who's not. <laughs> yeah, it just, it bums out on me. I'm surprised it's, it's been. Hi, Lucia. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. Anne, Anne Brockman, Kathy, Laura, Janet, yay, <laughs> you're all still here. Anne, it's good to see you. Anne and I go back several years when uh, she was watching my YouTube channel a couple years ago, and it was, who's that artist down there in Arkansas, Anne? I'm not good with names while I'm live. She does all those fabulous journals. Susie. Is it Susie? Um, uh, can't remember. 
I want to write play ball on here. And let's see how this goes. And I want it in thick letters, but I don't want it to be too thick. Shannon, not Shannon Green. Dennis. Dennis. Is it Susie Dennis? Anne? Is it Susie Dennis? She does fabulous journals, and she does this. She does really wonderful. She probably knows Shannon. Um, she does this really interesting art. Yeah, Susie Dennis, she, we did a kind of a impromptu collab on acrylic skins. She was doing acrylic skins, and I, I kind of said, ooh, that's cool, I'm going to do that. And we kind of bounced back and forth with our videos, video responses. How dry is this? It's pretty dry. I am... I wish I wouldn't have knocked my white paint over. I'm going to go get some more white paint. Never hurts to have another bottle of white paint. I want to blur out some on here so that I can write play ball and not let the pin stripes Oh, got some blue in there. Oh, that's okay. She isn't into things like we do most of the time. Teaches quite a bit. Yeah. I like her though. She's a very she's a very friendly person. She has a Facebook page. And she has a YouTube channel. That's how I got to know her. I was watching her acrylic skin video and her journals are just she sells her journals I don't know if she does any more but she did now I'm going to heat gun alert I want to dry this a little actually this is getting finished I'll probably put my hand in home base before I'm done though so don't be surprised <laughs> I can't believe I've been going for, it says, almost 43 minutes. That's how it is when you're having fun. But I really like the concept here. These kids are in a huddle. Maybe they're making up a team cheer or something. I don't think kids huddle for a baseball game, but, you know, they're in the dugout. And then this is the baseball here. And this is the, the fidget spinner over here. <laughs> really, it was a fidget spinner before fidget spinners. This book, I believe, was published in, in the 60s. I'd have to look again. I have one that was published in the 70s and one that's published like in 1964, I believe. Now, I'm going to close up that white paint. I'm going to close up the blue paint before I spill it. I'm just going to write here, play ball, if I can. And I want it to be fairly thick. And I don't care if it's messy, because that's the nature of these pages. But I want it to be fairly thick, play... Well, that Y was messy. B A L L. I may go clean that up after after the live session. Thank you, Karen. I don't like the Y and the B A L L. I may clean that up off camera, but you get the idea. And I do. I think this page has been more successful. Even that's drying out a little over here. I think this page has probably been one of the more successful ones that I've done. Except for the time that YouTube kicked me off here. We have actually had a pretty good session. Is it pixelating for anybody? Is anybody experiencing any 
pixelation. I don't see it, but after my video processes and I go back and look at it, I see it's really a poor quality video. I wish I could clean it up. I might try. I, I don't think it'll work. Um, I was thinking about maybe downloading it and sending it through some pixelation in. Yeah. And I'm on uh, cell phone and I'm using data. I'm on unlimited data. Hi, Betty. I love your work with the fine liner. Can you buy them empty? Yeah, and in fact, if you go back and watch the replay, Betty, we actually filled the blue one here in this session. It was empty, and I refilled it with nothing but this blue craft paint, which is Apple Barrel craft paint, uh, put out by Platt Enterprises. I get it at Walmart, the craft paint. I've been getting my fine liners. I like to buy retail if I can, and I've been finding my empty fine line paint applicators at Hobby Lobby, and I find them in the same section where they sell the model cars. I don't know why they put them in the section for the model cars, except for maybe the people that build the model cars may use them to do detailing, or maybe put their glue in there, and they have to get into those really intricate places. And I have a feeling that's why they put these there. But that's where I find them retail. I don't find them at Michael's. They might be if you ask. The only other thing I want to do on this page other than clean up my play ball, which I'm not really happy with. I think I do better with my lettering off camera because I can get my nose up to it. I'm going to do the risky thing with the black and I want to put some stitching around here like what I did here and I'm just going to very lightly if I can thank you Lynn they all have resist paint in them yeah Nancy yeah they sell those resist ones are actually a little expensive but that's the reason that they're expensive is because that resist has um, is what I think called latex free it it's uh, for people who have allergies to like latex and everything. And I think that's why the resists are just a little bit more expensive. I'm going to try to very lightly, very lightly put a border around here. And I might have to go back and redo this. But I'm not going to worry about this too much. Because I find if I worry, I actually make more mistakes than if I just, just be free with it. And I just want to put some lines like it's stitching a baseball together here. Something in my heart says it needs some yellow on this page. Look, the, their heads almost right here. Now you probably see it better through the camera than I do because my room is getting dark. All I saw was the black and I thought I spilled black paint there. <laughs> my room, I, have, I don't have any lights on in this room. So it's starting to get a little dark here and I thought that their heads was spilled black, splattered black paint and I was going to be mad at myself. Actually, I'm really kind of happy with this page. I'm really not too unhappy with this stitching. I might go back a little bit more. The only thing I really want to do is clean up the lettering there. And I'm going to do that offline. Maybe, maybe I will mess with this a little and outline it. And I'm not going to touch this. I want to leave that. This book it's nothing but art. Well, art and architecture, um, some, let's see, some sculpture. I think that they did some portraits in there too, some landscapes, but it's all art related, the arts, not just painting. So I'm, what I want to do is do reverse collage throughout all this book and I have another book, another child craft book that I've been getting these pictures out of. And I've been 
trying to find pictures that relate to the art here. So this is wet, but just the same way as we did the um, Manet's Julie Manet and at the table. Yeah, the red really brought it to light, didn't it? Um, yeah, and I'm thinking there should be some yellow on here because there's a little yellow in her hair. <laughs> but I don't know where to put it right now. And I want to clean that up afterwards. I'll paint out that play ball again. It's all wet now. But I'll paint it out with white. And then I'll go in there more carefully and write play ball on there. And the, the page that's the at the table page, I'm going to paint out the at the table words on that and do them better. So I think I'm finished with this page. I've gone for 50, almost 51 minutes here. I'm surprised <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't had more problems. I had a little bit of problem getting online, but I'm thinking I cleared my YouTube cache. I'm using the app, the Android. It did go quick, didn't it? Um, Hobby Lobby has two sizes, the 20 gauge and the 18 gauge. Yeah. Another place you can get them, of course you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Dick Blick. And you can also get them at Joggles. And I know, I think she used to, Barb at Joggles, used to sell just the tips. So if, you know, if you mess up a tip and get it all plugged up, maybe you put glue in it and something and it all clogged up and dried in there, I think you can buy just the tip portion. Oh, <laughs> Nancy, you can always watch the replay. <laughs> you know, actually, I had a little bit hard time coming on, Nancy. I didn't get right in at nine th at seven thirty. I had to restart it. I cleared out my the cache on my YouTube app, and that seemed to help. Used to live there. Scrapbook sent. Oh, you're talking about Canada. Yeah, try uh, try Hobby Lobby, and if you try Hobby Lobby, try go to their model car section, because. I know in Nebraska, I find them in the model car section and the same in Wisconsin when I lived in Wisconsin at Hobby Lobby. They always had these fine line paint applicators in the um, model car section <laughs> where, you know, like where they sell everything and all their other accessories for building those model cars, which, oh my goodness, when we were kids, those model car kits used to cost like five or six dollars. And uh, we were looking at them the last time we were there, and, and uh, oh my goodness, $30, $35, $40 for a model car set. I'm going, whoa, they got expensive <laughs> when I wasn't looking. But then acrylic, a tube of acrylic paint used to cost me $0.60 cents too. Now it's up to $6. Yeah, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I don't think I said hello to you. Nice to see you here. I am finished. Does anybody have any questions? Hi, Peg. Peg Robinson. If you have not found Peg Robinson's channel, go out and search Peg Rob for Peg Robinson on YouTube. She does beautiful, beautiful work. I was watching her today. She was... Uh, what were you playing with today, Peg? You were getting them out. Wasn't a stress oxide. What were you playing with today? Uh, <laughs> I watched it. I can't remember. I remember you using the stencil. Were you using distress oxides? What were you using? Oh, yeah, the oxide. Good. Yeah. And you did that bird. You had the fussy cuts the birds from the coloring book page. Yeah, Peg does beautiful work. So if you haven't found her channel, search for Peg Robinson. You won't be sorry. <laughs> so I am finished. I don't know 
what else do you know what I could do is let's take this book and I'm going to take a one last look at it <laughs> I'm going to move it off to the side here let it dry whoops did I bump my camera let's play here <laughs> what shall I draw give me a hint Maisie let's draw a little Maisie here uh, only I'm going to draw a little big Maisie. I've been watching Dee Dee Willingham draw big. <laughs> a doily? Okay. I like doilies. Let's do a doily. Start in the center like you're crocheting. Just make a round circle. And if you crochet, you'll be able to follow me. Because crocheters, they, they do the chains. And then they attach them just to make a circle. And ignore this one go line going out here. Maybe I should, can I just zoom in a little? So can, I'm going to zoom in just a little if I can. And if I if I fade out, I'll say goodnight to everybody now in case I fade out on this. I'm going to try to zoom in. Oh! Yay, Peg! Yeah, I'm in love. Absolutely in love with those. I'm moving my paint bottles off of the top of my page so I don't off of the top of my desk so I don't knock any more of them over <laughs> one more okay let's get the bulldog clips off and the little caps and the heat gun okay I'm going to draw a doily here it's already kind of off centered but let's see if I can to move it up this way a little. Yeah, stock pig. <laughs> She'll love you for it. Okay, so there's going to be a loop here. And if you were crocheting, you would actually do like five or six chain stitches to make a loop. And another loop. And I'm just going to do some circles here. Okay, and let's do a little, um, let's do, I like to do the dots here in needlework and crochet. They're called picots, P-I-C-O-T-S. That's a French word. And then let's, let's do a, a loop, a loop, a loop. I'm doing a doily on my desktop. How fun is that? Because we actually finished the page, except for I'm going to clean up the wording on it. And then I like to put those little... I am partial to these little picots. I think, think they add a, an elegance to, to the doily, even in thread doilies. Oh, it's not done yet, Laura. <laughs> it's going to be huge. <laughs> um... Let's see. I'm going to loop, the loop, the loop. Whoops. Now it's just going to get pretty crowded. But I'm just going to keep going because this is just... Actually, this is that brown craft paper that I painted on with my chalk paint. The pink that you see here in the background, or it, it might look kind of crafty to you. I don't know. It Actually, it's that... It's that pink and and uh, it's the colors from our last page is what it is. And I had some left over, like I got a big glob of green left over up here. And I had some left over, so I just took my paintbrush and smeared it all over the desktop. And I have plans for my drop paper. You'll be seeing that pretty soon. Not real soon, though. <laughs> Picots, yes. Now... I think I'll do, let's just connect them with lines. Now I'm, I'm not talking because I'm thinking what I'm going to do next here. Hi, Deborah. I missed you coming in, but I saw Peg said hello to you, so here's my hello. I'm going to do some more picots on here because because I like them.
And actually, it's getting dark in this room. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dark, but I have to see what I'm doing. I'm going to, I have an ot light. I'm going to lighten things up a little bit more for me. Okay, what should I do next? Let's do some, um, let's do, let's just connect these. And then I'm going to do some single crochet, I think. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking anyway. And they're just and to do that I'm just gonna do some little lines like this. This is probably more double crochet, but I'm calling it single crochet. No, let's call it double. I'm standing up at my desk here, trying to get my arm, it's probably in your way, in a good angle so that I can put these on here. This is kind of fun. You can blame Dee Dee Willingham for this. Actually, I think I saw, I didn't get to watch the entire video. I think Eileen McGinnis was doing art on her drop paper. I'm going to move this lamp before it falls off. <laughs> Live. And I didn't get to see what she did. Eileen McGinnis. If you haven't found her channel. I think she just is under Eileen McGinnis. Thank you. I have several of my grandmother's handmade doilies. I love them. Oh, Janet. How precious. I don't have any of my grandmothers, but I do have, when I was still in high school, my mother gave me this piece of trim, and it was beautiful. It was done with thread crochet. Thank you, Peg. It was done with uh, thread crochet, and it was just kind of like scallops. And, of course, the scallops were, how can I say, they were like fingers, and they were, they were, they were crocheted around like a buttonhole in the middle. I can't. Bye, Laura. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's good to see you. So, I used to crochet doilies and tablecloths a lot, but it got out of it for some... Me too, Lucia. I think because we just get... She does International Crafters with Nikki Pot. Yes, Peg. And... I like to watch her YouTubes. I just don't have time to watch everybody. But I do go out and catch Eileen. I caught one of her lives the other day. She was doing a... Um, she's doing a boat scene, I believe. Ian was there. And uh, she was doing a boat. And some ships off in the background. Bye, Laura. Let's see, I still have a big bag of granny squares that I was going to make into a blanket. Yeah, Janet. <laughs> She's on a lot, though. I do try to catch her live when I can, but I don't. I just don't catch everybody live all the time. I was on YouTube all day today. I can't believe it. I watched Barb Owen today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> was that ever fun? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I like to do a lot? I like, let's put some, let's do some lines here just to kind of border it out. This is kind of like the edging. And then I'm going to put some more of my fun little picots around there just to make it fancy. This is cobalt blue apple barrel craft paint. You were live today, Peg? Peg, I watched your one video. I missed your live. Peg, do you have a schedule? Oh, you were live in a group on Facebook. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, I'm kind of dis. I won't go into the reasons why here, but I think do think I prefer YouTube lives until Facebook satisfies me on my privacy issues. <laughs> Uh, okay, now what I'm going to do here is something I really like to do, and that's I like to do lattice work. And I don't know if you can see, because let me zoom in a little, not in, but out. There. You can see a little of it up here. I like to do, and I'm doing this clear across my, I'm doing it clear across my desktop here. And I can hear it the nozzle scraping against the <laughs> and I'm not going to go into the green blob of paint in this fun this really will loosen you up because I'm not really paying attention to it being perfect but I like to do this And I'm trying not to put that nozzle down on the page, but I, I know I do because I can hear it scraping. Now, I'm not going to do too much out here. Maybe a couple more lines. i got a green blob of paint right in there. I want to skip that green blob of paint because I don't want to run my nozzle through it. And I'm getting pretty close to my lamp. <laughs> my lamp's sitting off in the corner. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to do some lines this way. I love this lattice. I love lattice. And I'm just I'm just doing some lattice. I got to be careful that my paint doesn't spill off on the rug up here at the top of my desk. So maybe I won't go clear up there. I don't want to get paint on the rug. <laughs> But you know, I had that same issue when I rented an apartment. It had nice carpeting. Of course, in the I was in the extra bedroom. Ooh, I put my hand in the I put my hand in the striped paint here. Um, same issue, and I think I had the landlord worried because when I moved out, I had I had it all protected, the carpeting, because I I knew, and I was really careful. But she. She made a special effort to make sure that the carpeting was in good condition before she let me go. And it was. I, I was really proud of uh, how good care I took of it. All right. Now what I like to do is do little... And you, this may bore you. <laughs> and actually, one thing that's fun to do is right in here... Can you? Yeah, you can see it. Right in here, if you do a, like a flower, you put a petal here... And a petal here, and a petal here, and a petal here. And if you do that all around in different places, it really makes a pretty, a pretty, just a pretty background. And just do it freely. Don't worry about anything, Mary. <laughs> I'm talking to myself there. But already you can see... I dumped a whole bottle of delusions on the floor today. Oh no! What delusions? Like the spray delusions? The staining stuff? Peg, I hope that wasn't on carpeting. <laughs> Still, even on the floor, any place would be a mess to clean up. Oh, Peg. Mud podge on your carpet? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I think the worst I've done, and I did it while I was filming, I had a tube of paint, and it was one of those Tuesday morning brands. You know, they used to have those, um, I want to call them organic, ecological free brands. They sold them for like 97 cents or something. But I thought, oh, yeah, I didn't know it was sealed. And I was filming and I was squeezing that tube of paint to get it out of the little, well, you know, just like we do with our craft paints when we open the cap here. It was sealed on the underneath, and I squeezed in it, and of course I had it pointed toward me. 
all over the front of me. All over the front of me, and it was green. <laughs> if it was any other color, I might not have minded, but green just isn't green. I don't mind the color green, but I would have rather it been, oh, a pretty pink or a, <laughs> a blue, gold. If it was gold, I probably would have just <laughs> kept on painting. Now, I see I'm getting my hands in this. So this is kind of fun. I'm just putting little designs out here on my drop paper. Because I finished my page. And you know what? I won't be able to put my book down on this. I'll have to take a picture of it after everything is dry. Because <laughs> it'll take probably all night for this to dry. To dry good. Let's put another one up here. I'm just drawing little four petal flowers around here. It's kind of fun to do this. I got this great big green glob of paint right up here. He just looks out of place. Right there. <laughs> that was, I got that up for the ball field. Okay, you know what I want? I want some dots on here now. And I like to put a lot of picots. I just think they add a special elegance. And I think they do in needlework too. Look, doesn't it just add? It just it makes it look more elegant. I know. Lucia, I've got to do, do some scissors. And I haven't been urban sketching yet this year. I didn't go urban sketching this spring because we had a lot of rain. And I'm kind of, I'm in Nebraska now. And I have a couple places where I want to go. But I want to go to some unique places. And I was telling my brother how fun it would be. We have 98 counties in Nebraska. How fun it would be. I went to the library the other day. I like to get free magazines at the library. And they had a whole stack. A big old stack of Nebraska Life magazines. And I've been reading those magazines. And I've been getting inspired. And I was telling my brother how fun it would be to pick one place in every county and that week go do an urban sketch. Well, there's 52 weeks in a year and 98 counties in Nebraska. It'd take me a couple years to get done. <laughs> so, but that would be fun to do. I kind of miss my urban sketching. It's kind of hot now, and I sit in my car to do it. And in the winter time, I almost have to go in the spring and then the fall. In the winter time, it gets too cold, and in the summer, it's really too hot. But this spring, it was kind of wet and dreary. I'm just putting... Lots of dots on my page. This is kind of fun. I didn't plan this, guys. This was all your idea. This is your doing. How fun this is. Road trip. Yeah, Lucia. That would be fun, wouldn't it? And who was posting? Oh, um, the lady in in Oklahoma. Angela? Angela, I don't know her last name. But she was asking if anybody has an RV. Of course, I immediately thought of, of Cindy Sainzutter. But uh, I've always thought it would be neat to have an RV. And just go all around the United States. <laughs> And pull your car or rent a car when you go someplace. And have an RV. Not a huge one. I want one that I can handle. Cindy and Jerry. Yeah. Wet and dreary. Artie Farty Fairy. Hi there. UK. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh, it's so nice to see you. I didn't see you come in. 
In fact, I don't see you, anybody come in until they say something and I happen to look up at the screen. It's so nice to see you. Oh, you guys, if you haven't found Artie Farty Fairy's channel, <gasps> she does beautiful, everybody does beautiful work. Hi, Eva. Artie Farty Fairy. What is your first name, Artie? I forgot. Um, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> uh, but she does beautiful miniature work. I don't know how you do those intricate things so small. She did a Christmas series last year that just captured my heart. Just captured my heart. So, and that's her channel. Her channel name is Artie Farty Fairy. Go check out her channel. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful work. Are you on Facebook, Artie? I, I forget your first name. I want to... If you tell it to me, I'll know it right away. But I'm really bad with names. And I'm even worse when I'm live. So I apologize. But I love your channel. Joanne. Joanne. Yes. Yes. Beautiful work. She did a Christmas series last year. All miniature. Beautiful, beautiful miniature art. And so delicate and so tiny and small. I'm just going, well, you see what I do, fat fingers. All right. What else can I do to this? I've got flowers and picots and lace and a doily. Anything else that this needs? I can put some more picots in here. Nikki, wait a minute, Nikki, Nikki, who am I missing? Hi, hi, Nikki, I missed you coming in. Hi, I have to, I just got about an inch and a half here on my phone that I'm seeing, so welcome, Nikki and Joanne. Oh, you're not on Facebook? Oh, well, and you know, somebody else to watch, and I know that Joanne knows her, is, um, was it Book Lady? Jane? Jane is her name. It's Book Lady. She does, she does beautiful work, too. You know her, Joanne. I, I'm really rotten with names. When I see them, when I'm surfing on my channel, down my channel list, I know ya. I think I'll bring that down that way. So I apologize to anybody that I've misnamed <laughs> in this session. I'm really bad live. I can't think of any more to do to this tabletop. I've been live for almost an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and 18 minutes and 33, 34, 35 seconds. <laughs> I don't have anything up here as my aunt light up here in the corner. That's just going to be a blank. Thank you, Lucia, so to speak. Lovely to see you live, so to speak. <laughs> Nikki, that's funny. Only just got the email. Oh, notification. Yeah, I tried to put out uh, an event live announcing my chats, but for some reason I couldn't see it happen. So I'm going to try to go Friday nights. I won't guarantee that I'll be here every Friday night because if my phone works, I'll, I'll try to be here. If my phone doesn't work, I may be light. I had trouble getting it set up tonight. I don't think I got on live Till about quarter till eight or something like that it was I had to fool around with it to get it going Saturday afternoon there are are you uh are you in Australia Nikki are you still on a boat are you still doing the boating or are you on dry land now New Zealand New, well that's almost to Australia that's on the other side of the world, if you ask me. 
which is absolutely okay. I think it's amazing, totally amazing. You're on dry land for another two years and then back to the boat. Wow. It amazed me, Nikki, to see you do your videos while you were on the boat. I, I have a hard enough time with a desk. Of course, it gets a little shaky here sometimes, but <laughs> on a boat, that has to take some calm nerves. <laughs> Storms are amusing. <laughs> they are here too. But we've been pretty fortunate here that we've we've had a lot of hot weather recently, but we have not had the tornadoes here yet. And I'm just so thankful that I just I cannot if there's anything I don't want, it's tornadoes. Peg knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's I'm I don't have a fear of them, but you know, it's so sad. People work all their lives, all their lives to get these homes, and some of them are just beautiful. And then a windstorm comes along and blows it down. It's not fair and it's not right. <laughs> Small mercies, yeah. Yep. All I can think of doing this, to do on this, is keep putting dots on it. <laughs> Pretty soon I won't have a place to put any more dots. What about yellow centers on the little blue flowers? That's a good idea. I don't have any yellow. Well, I do have, let's see what I have over here. Uh, I have these, but these are, the paint in here is getting old. I won't guarantee that I'll get a good flow out of here. I think I got some gold in here. Or pink. I've got red. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you this too. This is my fine line applicator and I've had it sitting up on the shelf for a while. Uh, and I want to unscrew this white lid but it's stuck. And, but it, the gold one comes off fine. So what I do is, you're going to hear my drawer opening. I get out my pliers and just give it a twist. For some reason or another, that white cap, after a while that it sits there, it doesn't want to come off until I use my pliers. I'm going to see if I can get some gold out of here. Yeah, I guess. Yellow it is. Yellow centers. I don't know if you can see them too well. Can you see the yellow going on there? Wait a minute. Let's see. Make it vintage. Vin oh, like more vintage. Lucia. How could I do that? Uh, I need a spray paint like walnut ink. But I don't have any with me. That's one thing I don't have not been using a lot of is the sprays. For one thing, spray spray goes everywhere. <laughs> I have to be careful where I'm at. If I spray, I gotta spray. My fine liners are on the boat still. Every time I see you paint like this, I want to break them out. Well, you're just gonna have to go out there on that boat. And get your fine line paint applicators, Nikki. They are so fun to use. And have I missed any flowers? How could I make this more vintage? I'm saying the yellow in the blue flowers would make it a little bit more vintage. Oh, okay. It does. I feel like I need to put more yellow on here. How about just some yellow flowers? Because that yellow doesn't show up terrifically. I mean, it kind of blends in with the pink over here. Let me do it over here away from the chat. Find a good spot in here, maybe. 
See, it kind of blends in. And this, this is, add yellow dots. Yeah, I might have to settle for yellow dots because this paint is rather old in here. I need to wash out this applicator and put some more paint in there. I would like to have, well, first of all, I'd like to have all the colors of paint. And then I'd like to have all the applicators that have all the colors of paint in them. <laughs> I am building up my, putting my hand in the paint. I am, it looks, oh, yeah. Well, Nikki, truthfully, truthfully, when I do my videos and I put them into, you know, fast forward, it makes it look a lot easier than it is. Sometimes I struggle. Sometimes I struggle and sometimes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it goes, it goes better than I expected. I'm just putting yellow dots on here. What I'm wanting to make it look more vintage is to take it after this dries maybe. Let this whole area dry and take a really, 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 you can kind of see it off in here. Um, see how this is kind of green in there, and then it the the it gets more. Maybe I don't need to do anything to it because there's the green showing through here, and then this area is more the pink. Maybe I'll just leave it. I got Mick to get me a fine liner when he was there. I've not played with it yet. I must get it. You have to, Joanne. You have to, and I think they sell them. In other countries other than the United States, but I couldn't get a list of exactly where. So, and maybe there just is not a list. And um, Andrea Kidman is, she used to be in Germany. I think she's either in Switzerland. Is she in Switzerland now? Or vice versa? I don't remember which. But she has a similar paint applicator that looks something like this, but it's not the fine line paint applicators. So if you are overseas and, and not in the United States and wanting something similar, you might send a message to Andrea Kidman, A-N-D-R-E-A-K-I-D-M-A-N, and ask her what she uses in place of the fine line paint applicator. And she might be able to help you find something if you can't find these. These are, these are absolutely my favorite. And I've tried, I think Doris has the bottles out. And they've got the plastic caps with the, and I like those. But they don't have this nozzle. They don't have this thin nozzle. Yes, Peg. Yes, Andrea Kidman of Kidman Design, that's true. And I know that because she had won one of my, when I was giving them away, before, oh, it's been a couple years ago, she said that she didn't want one that she had similar, that she was able to find similar ones. So that's how come I know she found something where she lives over there. And she might say, who told you that? <laughs> you can say Mary and then she can come and, and correct me if I'm wrong. And I am wrong a lot. I'm finding that. I'm finding that. I say things that, uh, oops, that wasn't, what was I, what was I saying today? Oh, in Barbara Owens chat, live chat today we were talking about uh aileen oh here it goes with the name, duval she she was you know she did all those carol duval shows it, it was it was aileen's tacky glue it was carol duval and we were talking about her and uh i think she's passed away and her daughters were maintaining a channel she's close to some art factories i believe i think you're right peg and she might be able to tell them where they can find a similar product to the fine line paint applicator. Because I think she has something similar to these. But they're not these. Uh, but anyway, we're talking about Carol Duvall in 
Barbones show today. And, of course, I shot off. Uh, we were talking about what the YouTube channel was. And I thought I found it. Well, of course, I was wrong. <laughs> so when you're wrong like that, and if you're wrong in a public forum, the only thing you can do is say, Oops, I was wrong. I admit it. You were right. And usually that solves the problem. <laughs> Just admit it. You're not right all the time. I'm really kind of liking these yellow dots on here. Yeah, oops, so well. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed Barb Owens Live today. I don't generally get to visit hers. And I even popped in on... Um, I love the Terrell Duvall show. Watched all the time. Have several videotapes that I recorded of her. Yeah, Janet. Boy, do we do miss her, don't we? Carol Duvall. There's just no replacing her. Well, there is, really. There are a lot of really good... Barb Owens, Shannon Green, Gina, Peg, <laughs> Andrea Kidman. There's a lot going on today. But... Carol Duvall was just one of the, one of them who was an early pioneer. I think I'm going to call this quits. I don't know how much of the yellow you can see. Might have to do a close-up. No, I'm going to do some yellow in here. That was when there was no YouTube. That's true, Peg. How, how fortunate we are to have our YouTube channels. I would sit and watch YouTube all day before I'd sit and watch some of the shows that are on TV now. And it's, it's YouTube videos that you and I do. There would be no way that we could do something like Carol Duvall did on a PBS or a Do It Yourself or HGTV, you know, YouTube gives us the chance, like what we're doing tonight here live, you know, you know, it's just how fun it is. She was a craft queen on TV. Oh, yeah, Nikki, that's probably, I, she was, she was on, um, TV in the in the states. I I don't think she probably got overseas. I am done. <laughs> I can't think of one more thing. I got started in art back in high school in the seventies. It was going to be my major in college. What did you major in, Eva? What did you end up majoring in? And you know. The kids that go to school now, not you got married. You mar you 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 majored in life. <laughs> did Q? I I thought she did, Nancy, but take that with a grain of salt because uh, <laughs> I don't want to say for sure. I thought she did, but I don't know for sure. To tell you the truth, I thought she did, and I thought her daughters were taking over the channel. But I could be wrong. The last I heard, she was living in Michigan or along the Great Lakes somewhere. But that was a couple years ago. Yeah, I I don't know whether she did or not. So don't don't take that as truth because it may be Mary putting her foot in her mouth again. <laughs> And I did it live on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Look in here. I don't have anything in there. I need some blue dots. Right in there. Whoops, that's gold. There, that fixes that. I'll do that. I'll think that I got every little line on here and then I'll look at it and there'll be a whole bunch that I missed. Of course, I wasn't trying to get every little line, but it feels like I got every little line.
I think I'm going to call it quits. Wish you all a, a really good weekend. Whatever your plans are for the weekend, be safe. Have a good time. Cool to craft, Peg. Carol Duvall is at Cool to Craft. I learned <laughs> the hard way. C-O-O-L, two is in the number two, craft. All one word, cool to craft. You'll find some, well, I don't know if it's Carol Duvall or if it's her daughters, but it's connected with Carol Duvall on YouTube. That's what I learned today. Cool to craft, yes, that's it. Karen, good night. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming. I just appreciate you so much. Bye, Kathy. You all have a really good weekend. Good night, Nancy. Thank you, Peg. Y'all go check Peg's channel and uh, Nikki's channel. Carson D. Cat's Life. Same as her ID there. Go check her out, her channel. She's got a channel. And anybody else who I'm missing, Lucia McGill has a channel. Lucia, I got to say, you guys, visit Lucia. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> let's get her let's get her up to 500 subscribers that's our goal for Lucia good night have a good that was my brother moaning have a good weekend good night I'm getting the finish